Hey, welcome back to the channel. I uh, wanted to upload this video to tell, talk about a, a game that I was playing uh, the other day. It was kind of funny. Uh, I got on my Xbox, and I, you know how I, I tell you guys I play a lot of games and I stopped playing them. And I came across a game that I have not beat yet because I got so many games I play and I quit playing them and everything like that. But uh, I wanted to share with you guys there is not that many games I'm going to buy this year at all. I told you guys before that uh, actually I want to slow down on buying stuff because I just want to. I just want to tighten up the, the belt. But um, the only game that I'm buying this year actually is uh, uh, Astrobot uh, because it looks fun to me. Uh, when I got my PlayStation 5, uh, I played that Astrobot and I thought that was good. Now they're coming out with a, with a, a full actual game and you can buy it on uh you, you know i'm gonna buy it in september uh but uh i was looking i think it's gonna be released in september uh let's see astro bot rescue mission uh that one's out already um uh, yeah astro bot uh yeah, Astrobot is coming out for the PlayStation 5 in September. Yep, in September. Anyway, uh, I was looking at... Uh, anyway, Astrobot's coming out in September. I'm not going to look at it. And then uh, I, I just want to tell you, uh, Black Myth Wukong... That looked pretty good. I'm not buying it though. Uh, but it does look pretty good. But I just, uh, yeah, what's the name of it? I got it right here. Uh, Black Myth Wukong. My air conditioner's coming on, so it'd be a little loud in here. Uh, that looks pretty good, but I'm not gonna buy it. And then, uh, that Astrobot is the only game that I'm gonna buy this year. Uh, as far as new games, I'm not gonna buy that many. Uh, actually, I'm just not gonna buy that many games because there's just none out there I want to play. Uh, then I also want to talk about that new Gears of War. Ah, uh, oh, I forgot that actually, my uh, Microsoft is trying to do that all digital thing. So. I don't know when this game is coming out. Is it going to be good? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be good or not. But, you guys know I talk about Gears of War, and you know how much I, I like Gears of War. Well, I am excited about the new Gears of War. It's a, it's a prequel, I guess. And we don't know that much about it. We did, we did see the trailer, and it does look pretty good. But... After I sat on it for a while, I got thinking that, you know, Microsoft is trying to go digital. So, are they going to release that physical, you know? So, that, uh, this is not going to be a very long video. I'm just, I'm just sharing with you guys some, some random thoughts. So, anyway, uh, Black Myth, Wukong, that game looked pretty interesting. But what I'll do is I'll just watch people play it. Because, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm... I can't buy anymore. I, I really can buy video games, but I don't want to buy anymore because I want to finish what I got in this house. And that, that'll come up to what I'm getting ready to show you here in a few minutes. Uh, so, and then that Star Wars Outlaw, you know, that's too bad that that game is going to be filled with so many, I don't know, uh, it just looks like they want you to spend a lot of money on that game somehow, like stuff is locked behind this and you can get early access for that if you pay for this and uh, you can't get the uh, the disc is not going to be a full game it's only going to be a uh, I think you insert the disc and the, the disc. I mean if you buy the physical game I don't think it's actually going to be a, you, you know Star Wars Outlaw is not going to actually be a whole game on a disc you know like when you used to buy a video game back in the day you actually get the game I don't think Star Wars Outlaw is going to have that. I'm not sure, but I think so. Then I think there's a bunch of microtransactions and all that kind of stuff. Not sure, but you know when I seen the trailer, 
Now my air conditioner's on, so if it's a little loud, just this microphone this phone, uh, thing picks up real well. But uh, it looks pretty. It looks pretty interesting. You know, it's, uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm I'm giving you some random thoughts about how I do video games. Like for instance, uh, when a lot of times I've bought video games lately. Uh, if you have such a backlog of video games, and you still are playing video games, like this game I'm getting ready to show you here in a few minutes, uh, the thing is, <laughs> a lot of games you don't even have to pay seventy dollars for because let's just say hypothetically you are one of those people that buys video games, and you you want to play them. And you're not like me or some other people that still likes to play a lot of older games. Uh, even your older games are starting to get expensive because, you know, people are starting to buy them more. So, you know, the price is being jacked up. So, anyway, these are some random thoughts that I've been thinking about today. So, anyway, I'm just saying Black Myth Wukong looks pretty interesting. I know a lot of people probably buy that. I can't, I can't wait to see what the reviews are when it does get released. Uh, that Gears of War... As much as I told you guys that I love Gears of War, I got to thinking it is a prequel, and I got thinking that Microsoft is pushing that, you know, digital thing. So I bet you that when it does get released, Microsoft will uh, probably say, you know, the only digital, like they did with uh, Hellblade. Uh, and what else? Uh, but anyway, the game that I'm buying this year in September is actually. Astro Bar because I that game was very enjoyable when I when I played it on the uh, you know the, the, the PS5 so you know uh, but there's just um, I'm not saying that there's not very many games coming out it's just that there's a lot of games I'm just not gonna play uh, because last night you know uh, I was playing you know how I tell you guys I'm playing like I, I, I'm playing Fear, okay? I just I just started playing Fear. That's an old Xbox 360 game. I'm still playing, uh, you know, uh, a Plague Tale Innocent. Uh, I played uh, just a couple days ago. I, I put that Tomb Raider game in. Uh, I didn't put it in. It was already installed. And I played it, and I mean, I I was I. I was sleepy, and I just was just messing around, and I was thinking about playing a Plague Tale Innocent, and I realized that I had, you know, I think it's the Rise of Tomb Raider, or one of them, Rise of Tomb Raider is the second game, and I just happened to click on it, and I just, zoom, I, I was, I was on that game for like, golly, I was on that game for like almost two hours, I knew I had to go to bed and get some sleep, because it's been hot up here. It's hot. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about hot. And, you know, I'm not messing around out this. I want to ride my bike. I want to take walks. But I'm not messing around with this. We got a heat advisory, so I'm not going to take chances. So, uh, I just been chilling. Uh, but I am working out, though. Because this, this place is air conditioned. But anyway, uh, I just realized how much I love that game. So, anyway, last night. And I want to get with you guys. I want to ask y'all, which one is your favorite? So, a few years ago, it was been, let's see, I think it had to be 2009, 8, 7, I think it was 2007. There was this young chick that got a job there. Cute. She was cute, but uh, she got, to, me and her got to be friends, and we, we was just friends, and she she would talk, and we talked about video games and stuff, and uh she worked down another in the shop, and once in a while I'd run into her, and we would just be talking. And uh, she she says, hey, have you ever played Bioshock? I said, Bioshock? I said, no, not really. She goes, oh, and she started explaining to me about Bioshock and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, Bioshock? And she goes, yeah. So she says, I'll bring it in. You can borrow it if you want. And I was like, yeah, you know, for, you know, this is back in 2000. I think it was 2000. Seven? Cause she don't even work there no more. And I was like, oh, yeah. I said, okay. 
because when I borrow people's stuff, a lot of times I, I don't really want to borrow people's stuff because a lot of times I'm like, I ain't play the game, so I'm just, you know, cause I, I like games, but a lot of times I don't like games other people like, but then again, I do, but then sometimes I just have to. So she ended up bringing that game in, and I looked at it, and this game, I looked at it, I was like, uh, she was, I'm telling you, just check it out. Now, she was, she was a young chick, and I was like, all right, so she, I put that game in. Now, actually, I actually sat on that game for a couple weeks, and she kept asking me, did I play it yet? I said, uh, no, yeah, but I'm getting ready to, you know, I, I'll get around to it. I had to start, I had to actually put the game in so I could just shut her up so I could end up giving it back to her is what I wanted to do, right? So I put that game in, and I was like, oh, man, I got, I got to play, you know, uh, so I shouldn't have borrowed it in the first place, I'm saying to myself, but you know, I want to make sure I don't, you know, say I'm gonna say something that I ain't gonna say it. So man, anyway, I put that game in and man, that game blew me out of the water. So, you know, obviously when I put it on, I was like, holy crap. You know, when he was, uh, uh, you know, when he was in the water and then he goes to this place and then he goes down up on the ocean and all that and then whoever, I can't think of the name, and I'm not going to get into it. But anyway, I like the game. So I played it and played it, and then I ended up giving it back to her. And I said, I'm going to end up. You know, I, said, I told her I was going to buy it. But she, I told her, I said, girl, you was right. And, you know, she said the second one. You know, she told me about the second one. And then, you know, I think Bioshock Infinite came out. So I straight up bought that Bioshock Infinite. But it's so weird. I, I'm going to be the minority. I'll probably... But have you guys played Bioshock? Anyway, the other night, it was yesterday, I was messing around on my, I, I turned on my Xbox because I wanted to watch uh, Peacock. And I got an app on Peacock to my Xbox Series X. So I was like, hey, I'm going to watch Law and Order, man. You know, so I was, so uh, my Xbox pops up and, you know, I'm just looking and I'm getting ready to look down. I said, there was, you know, uh, you know, it's Peacock, uh, Control, and you know, you got your Peacock, and you got something else, and then it has your games. But then, uh, in this block, it said uh, uh, something about, you have this many trophies in Bioshock Infinite. And I was like, holy crap, I forgot I was playing that game, and I forgot I, I was really getting into that game. I was like, my, and I, I'm, you know, I'm saying this to myself, I'm like, man, I'm, I really need to start finishing these games. So I just clicked on just for the minute. For the mess of it, right? And because I was like, you know, I'm getting ready to watch Law and Order. Because you know, uh, I put that game on, and I mean, I started playing that game. And look, this game, I just got this game today, and it's all three move. It's all three games. And the thing is, Bioshock Two and Bioshock, but Bioshock Infinite. Out of all of them, I know Bioshock is the one that is the one that started all, and it is so authentic and so the way they. It, I mean, this is such a this is such a creative game. But you know what I fell in love with? Believe it or not, it is the it's the least most favorite one out of everybody. When I talk to people, say you like that one? I go, yeah. They say, man, I, most people they don't like it. But Bioshock Infinite. I fell in love with that game. And I think it's because uh, when I bought that game and I played it, you know I have no idea what happened to that game. So I ordered this off of Amazon. I got it through the mail yesterday. So it's got all three games. And uh, I just wanted to have them physical. But I, I, yeah, actually, these got all the games, plus when I read, has all the DLC on each one of them. So all these have DLC. So. To sum this up, I love playing video games, and I love watching movies. Thing is, movies are shorter than playing a video game. But I would, last night, I was, you know, I need to get some sleep, it's hot, and I've been wanting to ride a bike, I want to take walks, but shoot, man, this heat advisory, man, it's just a trip. So, I'm sitting there like, man, I'm playing this game, and I'm, I'm on these trolleys, man, you know, like this, and then I'm clicking, I'm trying to I'm trying to get on this platform so I can start killing these dudes. So 
I got on a playthrough and find out why I was making my mistakes, and I'm excited about playing it. But I, at the same time, I was excited because I ordered this for the, the PS4. And because I still play my PS4, but Bioshock Infinite is that's the one I'm playing, man. And I just, and you know what? I never finished Bioshock. And Bioshock, man, Bioshock's up under the water. And that thing don't hold your hand. Uh, they don't hold your hand at all. And I think that's why a lot of people prefer that one more than Infinite. Infinite, Bioshock Infinite is the least favorite of everybody. And so, and I never touched Bioshock too, so I don't know. But I know I play Bioshock, but like this young girl, man, she the one to turn me on to the Bioshock. And I, I told her when I give her that thing back, so man, I'm buying that thing straight out. And you know, she, she don't work there no more. Uh, but she, I told her, I said, yeah, girl, I said, you, you was right. And this is back in 2007 or something, man. This is 2024 now. But anyway, I just got this today when I got home. Even though I got it on my PlayStation, you know, my, my Xbox Series uh, X, because uh, sometimes, that, again, uh, if you want to, you don't have to buy games and like have them right off the right off the rip. Let's just say hypothetically, Star Wars Outlaw is a good game. I, I just don't know if it's going to be or not because a lot of these modern games just they're just too much into other stuff but let's just say hypothetically that it it is a good game and it's a really good game let's just say uh, this time next year this time next year that game be that get, that whole game would be like 40 bucks the whole game because a lot of times if you wait on these game plan for like a year or so, the reason why I'm saying that is because right now they're wanting all this money for this game. And if people get on YouTube and they're complaining about all this stuff about Star Wars Outlaw and stuff. And I sit there and a lot of times I'll be in my living room and I'll go like this. I'll, go, I'll be watching TV going like this. I'm like, yeah, y'all be doing all this complaining, but y'all going to be the first ones buying that game. Just because you need to upload something on your uh, YouTube channel. Hello, you guys. I bought Star Wars Outlaw, and let me tell you, I played this many hours, or I beat it already. I'm like, damn, you bought you bought that game already, and you beat it already? How are you enjoying those games in the first place? I don't know. Just saying. So, because I can't play games like that. I have never been able to play games like that. I told y'all about some of the games I bought that I got into so bad that I went straight through it. It took me a long. It took me. I think four months to beat Resident Evil 4. That's because I work a lot. Uh, it took me two years to beat the first Horizon Zero Dawn. Two years. And most of my friends blew through that game. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden West. It took me only, I think, I think a, a month a month and two weeks to beat that game due to my job. Uh... uh the Uncharted games, it took me a while to beat those games because of work, too. Uh, so there are games that I have blown through and played and beat. But uh, just to sum this up, I was on Bioshock last night, man, and I, it was late and I had to get some sleep, and I'm just getting into that. It's just the way that, and that chick, he's helping out that chick. And uh, I remember the first time I played, I said, boy, she's a, she's a cute little, she's a cute cute thing this is back when I first played Bioshock Infinite because you know he he has to take this chick and he has to take her back to this place you know and so they're on this little adventure but at the same time he has to take her somewhere because she's one I, I anyway I'm in the middle of playing it but him and that girl man I I just well I tell you what man video games man they, they could be they could be really great to, to play and it could be a lot of fun but at the same time you guys, have any of y'all played Bioshock? And I know y'all gonna say the first one is the best one. I get it. Cause I, I told you, that chick let me borrow and I finally did cause I said, I don't wanna lie to her and tell her, oh yeah, I played it, it's awesome. Now, I put it in and I actually put it in. I was like, oh man, let me just play this thing so I can just tell her I played it so I can give it back to her. And then when I got in that game, I was like, whoa, it's the, the way, uh, Bioshock, and, and when I got inside and got up under the water and 
and seeing the city on the water and all I was like, golly, this game is awesome. Now Bioshock 2 I've never even touched. But Bioshock Infinite, I don't know what made me buy it, and I can't find it, so I went out and I got it on digital. And I actually got the Bioshock collection on uh you know Nintendo. So but I just like going to physicals. But anyway, I played I'm playing Bioshock Infinite and that game is so good. Just like two days before that, I was just messing around, think about playing Plague Tale Innocent, and I got back on that Rise of Tomb Raider and oh man, I I was all into that. So anyway, like I said, this year in closing, the only game that I'm gonna buy is Astro Uh it's a full length game. It's gonna be more to do, it's gonna be that Astrobot that was on the PlayStation 5 when you bought it, it was so the way the controls and had all these little uh, stuff in the game where it was, you know, stuff, little stuff from other previous uh, uh, consoles and stuff like that. It's really, that's the only game that I'm buying this year. Seriously, Astrobot's the only game I'm buying this year. Now, I was thinking about, you know, I don't know when this Gears of War coming out, but then again, I said, man, that's going to be digital. Xbox is going to try to make that. They ain't going to do no. They probably ain't going to do no physical. And I'm really hoping that game will be good. This video is longer than what I want it to be. But anyway, I just. Uh, uh, and that Black Myth. Wukong. That looks interesting. But again, those are the games that. If you were smart. And I ain't saying you're not. If you wait. A year. With all the games that you have in your collection and start focusing on trying to beat those games so you can entertain yourself because that's the reason why you got those games so you can entertain yourself then you might go to work or go and somebody might come up to you in about a year and a half and I'll say hey man I played this like this game or that game and that game and it'd be like really that game is good I didn't think that game is any good then they talk you into you know, maybe watching somebody play it or something, you'd be like, wow, that game is pretty good. Because, you know, a lot we think a lot of modern games are sucking right now, right? So, uh, then you'd be like, all of a sudden there's going to be sales. Take, for instance, this time next year when they when the holiday season come, they'll be trying to, they'll be trying to, because, you know, the video game industry is all about trying to make money. Right now, when these new games come out, they're going to push the $70 price point. But let's just say another year from now, they might push a $40 price point. Okay? So, and what if those games are good? What if they are a breakout hit? And you'd be like, well, I'm glad I just waited. Because for the simple fact is because we all got games that are sitting in our library that we have yet to play. Or we are playing. Or... We played them and we're in the middle of them, or we just didn't play them and finish them. Because there's a lot of people like me that just ain't got games they finished, but they like them. So, you know, I got so many games I'm in the middle of. So anyway, I know this is jumping around, but one, what is your favorite Bioshock game? Mine, Infinite, is bad to the bone, man. I mean, it's bad to the bone. Don't get me wrong. I have not finished the first one, and I have not touched. I know, I didn't even play Bioshock 2. But man, like I said, when that young chick give me that, I think it was an Xbox 360. And I, uh, I think, it, yeah, I think when I went down in that ocean and got up on that water and I'm playing video game, I'm sitting there. This is back in 2007 or six. I'm like, holy crap, man! This little young chick, man, she knew. I'm, I was like, man, and it the, just the, the, the way it was, just, it's just, it's just wow. So, but. Bioshock Infinite, though, the man, when I got up there, and it was like a complete opposite, man. You know, I was up in the clouds, and it was city up in the clouds, and some of those, uh, hey, I, I love this game. I, I, and you know what? I have games that are over seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight years old. I have not completed them yet. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. But dude, I still love them, and I still like them, and I can't wait to finish them. You know, it's just life just gets in the way. Anyway, God bless. Take care. And this is a long video and I didn't want it to be this long. But anyway, I just felt like sharing. We'll catch you later.